published 0957 Est, the 27th of November 2017, updated 1101 Est, the 27th of November 2017. Millions of computers are at risk of infection by a virulent spam attack that threatens to destroy your files unless you pay a Bitcoin ransom. The Scarab malware is being distributed by Neckers, the Internet's largest email spam botnet, which has been used in a number of previous online onslaughts. Within the first six hours of the attack 12.5 million emails had been distributed, with more than 2 million messages being sent out per hour at its height. Scroll down for video Millions of computers may have been infected by a virulent spam attack that threatens to destroy your files, unless you pay a Bitcoin ransom. The malware is being distributed by Neckers, the Internet's largest email spam botnet. This image shows an infected email. The biggest giveaway of a malware email is that they are sent without being asked for, so it is always best practice to never open an unsolicited attachment. The subject line of emails in the Scarab attack suggests the image scans they contain were created using printers from a number of reputable firms. This includes Lexmark, HP, Canon and Epson, giving the scam messages an appearance of legitimacy at first glance. However, there may be spelling mistakes or other grammatical errors that give the game away. This might be in the subject line, email address or body text of the message. Archive files, like the 7-zip format used in the attack, are also another warning sign of potentially dangerous content. These types of file can be used to try and bypass detection by antivirus scans. Security experts from antivirus software company Forcepoint, based in Austin, Texas, were among the first to raise the alarm. They found infected files were hidden in fake scanned documents which, according to the subject line of affected emails, were supposedly created using printers from a number of reputable firms. This includes Lexmark, HP, Canon and Epson, giving the scam messages an appearance of legitimacy at first glance. Once an attached 7-zip is downloaded and opened, the malware takes over your computer and files, threatening to erase them if the ransom ISNT paid. Top domain countries targeted in the attack are the US, UK and Australia, followed by France and Germany. Despite its wide distribution, Scarab is detected by most anti-malware software, which means you should receive a warning about the infected files. Windows users unlucky enough to have been infected may be able to remove the malware by installing running anti-malware software in safe mode, although this is not guaranteed writing on the firm's blog. Security researchers Ben Gibney and Roland De La Paz said the payload itself, Scarab, is a relatively new ransomware family that was discovered in June. Once installed it proceeds to encrypt files. A ransom note with the file name If you want to get all your files back, please read this. Text is dropped within each affected directory. Once an attached 7-zip is downloaded and opened, the malware takes over your computer and files, threatening to erase them if the ransom ISNT paid. This image shows the ransom demand that appears after opening the attachment top domain countries targeted in the attack of the US, UK and Australia, followed by France and Germany. Despite its wide distribution, Scarab is detected by most anti-malware software, which means you should receive a warning about the infected files. A botnet is a collection of internet-connected devices, which may include PCs, servers, mobile devices and Internet of Things devices that are infected and controlled by a common type of malware. Users are often unaware of a botnet infecting their system. Once a botnet's owner is in control of your computer, they can use your machine in combination with others, over a network called a botnet, to carry out other nefarious tasks. There are a number of common tasks executed by botnets including using your machine's power to assist in distributed denial of service DDoS attacks to shut down websites, emailing spam out to millions of internet users generating fake internet traffic on a third-party website for financial gain, replacing banner ads in your web browser specifically targeted at you, pop-ups ads designed to get you to pay for the removal of the botnet through a fake anti-spyware package. Unusually, the note does not specify the amount being demanded, instead simply stating that the price depends on how fast you write to us. This note is also automatically opened by the malware after execution. A botnet is a collection of internet-connected devices, which may include PCs, servers, mobile devices and Internet of Things devices that are infected and controlled by a common type of malware. Users are often unaware of a botnet infecting their system. Once a botnet's owner is in control of your computer, they can use your machine in combination with others, over a network called a botnet, to carry out other nefarious tasks. There are a number of common tasks executed by botnets. 
This can include using your machine's power to assist in distributed denial of service DDoS attacks to shut down websites. Ransomware is a type of malicious software that criminals use to attack computer systems. Hackers often demand the victim to pay ransom money to access their files or remove harmful programs within the first six hours of the attack. 12.5 million emails had been distributed, with more than 2 million emails being sent out per hour at its height. This graphic shows the number of scarab emails intercepted per hour by force. Boindler can also be used to email spam out to millions of internet users generate fake internet traffic on a third-party website for financial gain. Replace banner ads in your web browser specifically targeted at you. Enable pop-ups ads designed to get you to pay for the removal of the botnet through a fake anti-spyware package. The biggest giveaway of a malware email is that they are sent without being asked for, so it is always best practice to never open an unsolicited attachment. Archive files, like the 7-zip format used in the attack, are also another warning sign of potentially dangerous content. These types of file can be used to try and bypass detection by antivirus scans. Manually scanning suspicious emails with antivirus and anti-malware software may also reveal any hidden infections, although this is not guaranteed particularly if it has not been updated recently. There may also be spelling mistakes or other grammatical errors in the subject line, email address or body text that give a game away. Keeping a data backup either via the cloud or external storage device that is not always connected to your PC can help to protect your data. Ransomware is a type of malicious software that criminals use to attack computer systems. Hackers often demand the victim to pay ransom money to access their files or remove harmful programs. The aggressive attacks dupe uses into clicking on a fake link, whether it's in an email or on a fake website, causing an infection to corrupt the computer. In some instances, adverts for pornographic websites will repeatedly appear on your screen, while in others, a pop-up will state that a piece of your data will be destroyed if you don't pay. In the case of the wannabe Crypter, a WannaCry virus that hit the NHS last month, this targets Microsoft's widely used Windows operating system. The NHS was one of the several global government agencies hit by the WannaCry attack pictured, which affected computers, phones and emergency bleepers in hospitals and GP surgery. The virus encrypts certain files on the computer and then blackmails the user for money in exchange for the access to the files. It leaves the user with only two files instructions on what to do next and the WANA decrypted program itself. When open, the software tells users that their files have been encrypted and gives them a few days to pay up or their files will be deleted. It can quickly spread through an entire network of computers in a business or hospital, encrypting files on every PC. Such malware can be avoided by checking app permissions, avoiding installing questionable apps and being careful about what email attachments you open.